Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. Today we're doing a video for Ruthie and she is rebuilding the entire rear end of her tractor and she's got a couple pieces left over. She's not sure where they went. So I told her, I said, send me some pictures and I'll tell you what they are. Well, by the time I got the pictures and looked at them, she says, I already figured out what a couple of them are. And they are the seals that go on the outside of your machine, just before you put your wheel flange on. Goes in this rubber dust cover. The newer style, this is shaped a little weird. It's kind of hard to get the seal in there because this is so stiff. I mean, it's really stiff. <coughs> but one of the videos I show you how to do this very simply. You take this, you drop it in a cup of hot water. Not boiling. You just have to get it hot. Maybe like the temperature of a nice cup of coffee. Leave it in there for a minute. You take it out. You can pull that seal right out of there because if you notice the dust cover in the back is bell shaped the size of the seal and the front is not. So you can't just pull them out of there without breaking this. So soak it in hot water. It'll get very pliable and you can pull it right out. Throw it back in the hot water because it's going to cool off quick and then press the new one in. Simple. This is the old style dust covers. The new style dust covers are straight. And this one does not fit on this side of the machine. It's for the other side with the three quarter inch axle. But it slides up on the, here's one of the, uh, this is a new bushing for the other side. And it slides right up on there. Once you get the seal in, and you put the hose clamp around it to hold it in place. I don't have the hose clamps on mine. And that shoves right up against the flange on the fender. So it goes completely over the bushing. Now, on some of uh, the older machines, if I can find that thing... I thought I'd just seen it laying here somewheres. I have way too much junk laying around, I can say that for sure. There was a plastic, I see it hiding over here. This was the plastic dust cover that went on the side without the differential on it and it was very hard not much you can do with it and once the bushing starts to wear it also wears this and then sand gets in and it destroys your bushing and your axle these things thank goodness are no longer available and you can get these and you get the smaller seal that goes on the three quarter inch shaft. Now, if you got a newer machine like my 2012, you notice the bushing is longer than the old bushings were. And the reason for that is they put a lip seal right in the bushing for you. And these new bushings also have a Teflon coated insert that lasts a lot longer than these crappy little things. These are like five to seven bucks. These are like 60 some bucks. And you don't get the lip seal with it. I don't think. You do get the inserts and the grease fitting. So to get back to sticking them in there, this is the same way. This one, it just about fits because it's not that much smaller, but you still have to soak this in hot water. 
or you're going to be <laughs> in hot water. <laughs> now, another picture she sent, or the other part, she couldn't figure out where it went. I'm sorry to say, Ruthie, you're going to have to take the differential apart. <clears throat> this is the one of the bearings that goes in the fender that you press into the fender. Now, that thrust washer, it's got a large hole in it. When you put your differential together, that thrust washer has to go on the axle before you slide the axle through the fender and the bushing. So it's going to get pinched between the bushing and the end of your differential assembly. So I don't know. Let me wiggle it up here. It's going to go right in there. Unfortunately, she asked me, I, I don't have to take it all apart, do I? Sorry, you do. You, it's got to go inside, and that's the only way you can get it in. Now, you don't have to tear the whole thing apart. You can take the fender off and pull the assembly out and leave the chain case intact. You will have to take this clamp off the boot so the boot will hang on the chain case and you can just pull this assembly out. You have to take it apart and to get that thrust washer in there. And I would say, yeah, you really need it. That acts as a bearing surface between the end of the bushing and the face of the differential. Without that, you're going to get premature wear on the face of your bushing, and it's going to give you more and more side play as your bushing wears down. Not to mention you're going to have the grit from the bushing wearing in the differential in all that pasty snapper goo, and it's going to grind things up so it, it'll it's going to be worth taking it apart and put it in there Ruthie and I guess that's it and I'm I'm always impressed with my female mechanics that just tear into these things and I've got I don't have all their pictures I don't have Ruthie's printed but hers will be up there I think I have 15 women that repair these things and sell them down south. I don't remember what state she's from, but uh, she's been emailing me back and forth and uh, with a lot of questions, and hey, that's, that's what I enjoy. Uh, send me questions if you have them, please. I, I try to answer them all, and I did get my phone fixed. Well the part that's stopping my emails. So as soon as I got a password in, it's been giving me a, a lot of problems. The email opened up and I got a hundred emails just <laughs> filled my email box. And I have worked through all of them. They're all answered, I'm caught up. <clears throat> so if you have a question that was not answered. I don't know if all the emails came or not. I may have lost some in cyberspace somewhere. Send it again and I will get back with you. I believe I am probably the only YouTube channel that answers emails and comments. Now some of the comments were still coming through because well, they're not an email. So I was answering them as they came. Some of my emails came through. I don't know why. I had a guy down south I, I get a hold of a lot for questions, and he answered my questions. I don't know why his came through or, or why I could email him. But a lot of them were blocked. So if you didn't get an answer, it probably kicked your email out who knows where. Send it again, and I will answer you. And that's about it. I have another short video coming up on how to adjust 
your deck belt. I covered two different designs on different machines. This is a third machine and that one will be coming out right after this one. So uh, if you have any questions, put them in that box below or send me an email. <laughs> I, will, I am getting them and uh, I will get back with you. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and keep on snapping. We'll talk to you soon. So long, Ruthie.